put the team on my back I do it all for the family Everyone think they can rap Nobody ever gon' challenge me Starting my week on a Sunday They think they can make it in one day I just been ready to take off Waiting my turn on the runway Never be turning around Never be turning around Ayy Never be slowing it down Never be slowing it down What's up everyone? We're up at the shop today We're going to be changing the oil in the Durango SRT And uh Miss uh, DFW Speed here wants to get in on some of that action and change the oil on her car. This is her car, so all right, let's uh, show you how we do this around here. <laughs> Got you. <laughs> All right, so we got the old drain in. We got the filter off. Everything's just kind of dribbling right now. We'll get all that cleaned up. But uh, we got here some uh, Pinzol Ultra Platinum Full Synthetic. It is a 0W40 what SRT recommends in these vehicles. Sometimes we use Amsol, but I didn't have enough Amsol here at the shop. I need to order some more. So this time, I'm just going to go back with the Pinzol. And of course, we got our Mopar filter. So as uh, pretty much uh, oil change 101, not everybody does this, but on filters that actually are mounted, um, you know, in the upright position, I like to try and pre-fill them with a little bit of oil. And of course, we'll put a nice, uh, little uh, film of fresh oil on this seal here. Um, so a lot of times though, when filters are mounted sideways or at an angle, sometimes I don't fill them, pre-fill them just because it's just gonna leak brand new oil everywhere. But whenever they're upright like that, then uh, definitely put a little bit of oil in them, just kind of give them uh, a little bit of help on that first initial startup. All right, so we got the oil drain all back in. We got the new filter on. Everything's all nice and clean. We got a nice little SRT on the bottom of that oil pan, which is pretty neat. But uh, all, you know, this is a new car, only has 10,000 miles on it, but I always like to just do a once over underneath just to make sure that there's no problems, you know. That's basically like what the dealer would do is change your oil and then just kind of glance at things underneath and whatnot just to make sure there's nothing leaking or anything that might be a cause for concern that we would, uh, you know, might have to get fixed under warranty, but everything looks good. Everything looks perfect, no issues at all. All right, so now we just uh, fill it with this uh, Pennzoil Platinum. It takes exactly seven quarts, then we'll top off the washer fluid, and we will be done. All right, then the last thing we wanna do, just real quick, is start it up. Then uh, make sure that, you know, it runs for a few seconds for the oil to circulate. That should be good. Then we'll go underneath the hood, pull the dipstick, make sure that it is properly to the fill level, and we're done. Then we'll reset the oil stick out once and we cleaned it. So we'll pull it back out again. We'll just make sure that it, that oil, it's a little hard to see. It's kind of, as long as it's on the hash mark, then we know that it's full. So we're good to go. So now we just go inside and then make sure that the oil light gets reset. That's pretty That's easy. It. Just with your foot off the brake, uh, of course the key, you know, in the vehicle, just turn it to the uh, run position here. So you push the button twice. And we're gonna use a steering wheel here. We're going to toggle through some of the menus. We're going to go to the car information. Let's see, so that's that one right there. And we're just going to hit the little button here, right or left, and we're going to toggle through some of those until we get to the oil. Oil life, so, and then just hold and press the OK button and just keep holding it until it resets. Simple as that. And just turn the car off and you're good. 
that's it. So not too hard. Uh, changing the oil in a Durango SRT is really no different from any other car. So um, anyway, that's it for today. Make sure to uh, follow us on Instagram at the Cursed Hellcat 2211 and at uh, 392 Durango SRT. And uh, be sure to check out other videos on the channel. Make sure to click the like and uh, for the video. Subscribe to uh, see all of our other content that's coming up in the future. So anyway, this is uh, Billy and Jessica from DFW Speed. Later. I put the team on my back. I do it all for the family. Everyone that they can rap. Nobody ever gonna challenge.